Jobs, invented in the 16th century by Protestants, those bastards, you may have noticed that I've become a little more absent in recent months. Or maybe not. It's kind of par for the course for stick figure YouTubers to just disappear for months on end. So I'm sure you all saw it coming. Both of these disappearances can be explained with the same phenomena. A job. Specifically, the first vanishing act coincided with my job search, where based on the responses to my applications, or rather the fact that I wasn't getting any, was making me question whether or not I exist. The second vanishing lines up with me actually having a job, and in that case I was just questioning whether or not it was worth it to continue to exist. To answer the question that popped in your head but you don't actually think is worth asking, I've been working as a drug dealer for that time, but legally, therefore boringly. All things considered, pretty decent, you know, for a job, reasonable hours, work that isn't really difficult in any way, the pay, uh, I genuinely like everyone there, but even still. Every morning while driving to work, I fantasized about swerving headfirst into an oncoming 18-wheeler, which I think is fair, because no matter how good a job is, it's still a job, and jobs are bullshit. As a great man once said, fuck a job. You may also have some slight concern, something along the lines of, misinformed, what if your employer sees this and hears your true, genuine feelings on working? You're putting at risk your only source of stable income, cause you sure as fuck don't upload or stream often enough to make any consistent money off of it, you lazy bitch. While I appreciate your concern, and don't appreciate the insults, you don't need to be worried. I mean, oh, come on, what are they really gonna do? Fire me? Oh. Well anyway, let's start our bi-yearly lecture. Ah, Christians, you gotta love them. What group of people is there who have a greater fondness for being bossed around? The other two? Yeah, yeah, okay, sure, the other two Abrahamic religions also, but... That, man, shut up! It's through Christians, specifically Protestants, that we can answer a few fundamental questions. What is a job? Where did jobs come from? And just... why? Before the Protestant Reformation, the concept of jobs did not exist. Every single person just sort of did things. If you wanted food, you'd right-click on a berry bush and farm some, or you'd right-click on a deer or moose or whatever this is and kill it and eat it on the spot, as nature intended. And if you had a big project, like building a house or a temple or something, you round up a couple buys who owe you some favors, go find some rocks and stack them up in more or less the shape of a house. Other than that, it was just big chillin' all around, enjoying the good lord's splendor, the Catholic work ethic, if you will. Then all of a sudden, here comes Germany, kicking down the door, screaming about some Fleischgeitheimer Weinschnitz, just some wild shit, like who even knows what they're saying? The Protestants figured that we're all enjoying life too much. We won't properly appreciate heaven if we don't toil and suffer adequately here on earth. In this, they directly reference a book in the Bible that details the near unimaginable level of suffering a good, God-fearing man goes through, and how that suffering leads to great reward later on in the Lord's light. And that man's name was... Yeah, yeah, you, you get it. Jobs are terrible. We all know it. It's just a feeling that comes naturally. Like, loving your family. Or hating your family. But why? Well, it all begins with looking for a job. It's not like back in ye olden days where you'd go down to the local job board, grab a flyer that says bodies needed, come to this address, then you go there and get handed a lifelong stable career. Nowadays, instead, you send out triple-digit applications weekly to jobs that require at least a master's degree, a personal reference from at minimum three and a half CEOs, extensive experience with the most obscure, poorly made software you've never heard of. Oh, and don't even bother applying if you have hobbies or interests outside of work. In return, they offer a minimum wage begrudgingly, with a benefits package that only includes a half-hearted promise that they won't murder you directly. If a hiring manager ever does accidentally hit the reply button to your email and schedules you for an interview, then the circus really gets going. There's you, and there's the interviewer. And both of you gotta act like shit ain't how it is when in reality you both know it do be exactly how it is out here. If you ever want to shake things up a little bit, in the interview, tell them you want flexible hours for a healthy work-life balance, you want comprehensive benefits that cover your needs, you want pay that exceeds your basic cost of living, you want a pair of those glasses that put you in the game from Spy Kids 3, you want the entire Tuamotu archipelago, and you want a woman dressed in this to stand over your shoulder all day telling you that you're doing a good job and physically threaten you occasionally. Your interviewer will be throwing up blood before you even finish point two. But if you play the game well enough, talk about your love and passion for uh, shuffling papers around a desk and how you'd be a very synergistic 
team player who is self-motivated to, to think outside the box and <sighs> then congrats you've got a job so now what well now you try to keep hold of your sanity while putting up with all the expectations your job has for you easily the most ridiculous of which is that you're supposed to be happy and grateful for having a job like yeah okay someone's really going to be grateful for giving a third of their day in exchange for the <laughs> wow really holy shit yeah no fuck that any employer who pays an employee less than enough to live off of is out of their mind to expect gratefulness. They should, at most, expect that said employee won't burn down their house. Even that is asking a bit much, at least if you live in France or something. You know, back in the day when coal miners were dying of black lung at the age of 14, at least they weren't expected to do it with a smile on their face. Also, that third of a day part is super fucked up. You're really expected to sit there and do the same thing over and over again for eight, 10, shit, 12 hours at a time? Man, I don't even do things I like for more than four hours at a time. I mean, I'm finna back three as much as the next Asuka, but even I get tired of that. So how does one resist the urge to go postal and light their workplace on fire as you do whatever it is you do? Option one, leave. Just leave. Don't even tell anyone. Just walk out in the middle of your shift, don't respond to any of their emails, don't answer any of their calls, walk out of their lives, and never be seen again. Option two, rather than lighting a large fire and destroying your entire workplace, light a series of small fires that can be reasonably handled. That way, you still at least partially satisfy your urge to cause damage to company property. Option three, spend your downtime, or actually your active time too, fuck it, doing things that are blatantly not your job. For you, that might mean, for example, watching this video. Glad I could help you burn some company time to go along with all that company property. For me, that meant doing what any strong work ethic having, truly loyal company man would do. Reading anti-work political theory, which like all good political theory, is just what I already believe, but said by someone much smarter than me who has spent much more time thinking about it. Option four, spend your days listlessly daydreaming about the most pointless nonsense. Like, uh, what if a designer at Obsidian asked, hey, what if we made the nightkin hot? Actually, never mind. No, don't don't do that. Just just stick with taking really long shits on company time. I guess I'd like to end this on a slight tangent. Sex work. People often question whether or not it counts as real work. Kind of a stupid question, I think. I mean, it's someone trading their time, their labor, their creative output. Oh, and believe me, some of them get real creative. My God, in exchange for money. So of course it's work. There's a more interesting question though. Is it dignified? And the answer is no. Sex work is not dignified, but not because of the sex part. No, no, that's that's fine. It's because of the work part. If you clock in at Walmart, put on that blue vest, and then spend eight hours of your day reorganizing shelves, telling customers which aisle they can best go fuck themselves in, and getting mistreated by your managers because power tripping at work is the only time they can feel an emotion anymore, in that process, you are simply a cog in the profit machine for Walmart shareholders, and guess what? You've been selling your body to Doug McMillan, and buddy, you were getting absolutely fucked the whole time. You're a whore. I'm a whore. We're all whores on this bitch of a planet. You shouldn't feel any sort of shame for not being happy while you're at work. In fact, with how things are looking, it would appear that many people have come to their senses and agree with you. Whether it's leaving unfulfilling jobs or demanding better from a job you do wish to continue doing. Because let's face it, if you're going to be degraded, you might as well be fairly compensated for it. Hey, so, uh, no word from some of my patrons this time, because I closed my Patreon. Instead, I'm switching over to reading out one-liners written by Twitch subs. Felt kind of weird for me to e-beg for a cut of your already undervalued paycheck in two different places, especially when I'm not uploading, so just Twitch it is. So go to twitch.tv forward slash very misinformed to see things like this. He fucking just throws up at the sight of pussy. Sub to the channel, then join the sub discord where you can yell at me in a very slightly more intimate environment. Or don't do any of that if you don't want to. I'm not your fucking boss.